creating PDFs in Adobe Spark. Stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for checking out my videos. For my returning guests, thank you once again for stopping by. Today I'm going to be talking about creating PDF documents using Adobe Spark. This document right here that I'm sharing, it's a freebie that I shared out a while back, my top five photography tips. This whole PDF I created in Adobe Spark. And that's why I wanna share with you how you can create PDF documents like this, create brochures, recipe, you can even create children's book, your own book, all in Adobe Spark, and I'll share how you can duplicate pages as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I've launched spark.adobe.com. I think this might be a little bit of a longer video than normal, so just kind of be ready, take notes, and uh, let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing I'll do is click on the blue plus sign and I'm going to create a custom size graphic. Now, because I'm going to be creating a PDF document, most likely is one I'll share digitally, but I'll also most likely it may be printed out. So I'm going to choose the print option because that ensures that the PDF is like print ready. So you can choose poster or letter. I'm going to go ahead and go with letter and click on next. Now the document that I shared with you, the PDF was in landscape. So I can easily fix that by going to resize and come up here to custom and enter here and just click this little button in between, which will let me switch out the sizes. So now it's 11 inches wide and eight and a half inches tall. So this is kind of your normal print size paper. And let me go ahead and start and show you how you can create kind of the cover page. Now, one of the first things I did was add a photo that was of my camera. So let's go ahead and go to photos and click on upload. And I have a folder set up on my desktop with all the images that I'm going to be using. Go ahead here. And I believe that is the camera. So let me click on that. So I've got the camera here. I'm going to size that up, bring this up, make it a little bit larger and move it about right there. And if you notice on my PDF, it was kind of cut in half. Now what you can do is several options. I'm going to use the crop and shape, and this will allow me to kind of crop this out like that. So this is going to be the size of the image that I want to use here. So let me go ahead now and I can slide the camera over. I should say the photo and I'll click out here. Now I've got this nice space over here on the right. And what I did is use icon to create kind of that separation line here. So I'll choose rectangle and let me click on one of these here. It doesn't matter that it's not the right color. So I can use that. And because I've added it afterwards, it'll be layered on top. And I'm going to extend the shape off screen, or I should say off of the actual print size. It doesn't matter because that won't actually be printed out. Kind of think of that as a bleed mark there. And so let's go ahead and move that about right there. And then I can go ahead and go to my brand colors, which will be that one there. So there, I've got kind of the beginnings of my cover page here and now what I'll do is click on text and let's go ahead and add text. So I'm going to go ahead and name this my title page which is top five photography. Let's make sure I spell that right. Photography tips and I'll come over here to the option to adjust the alignment here. Capitalize and fit and just move that around that's pretty good kind of where i want it to be and then i will make sure and choose my brand fonts one of the great things about using adobe spark is you can add your own brand fonts I'm going to come up here and choose my brand font which is industry right there and then what i'll do is add my logo so let's go ahead and come down here to logos and I've got several different ones. I'm going to use my primary logo and just kind of drop that down there, make it a little bit larger. 
And I highly recommend doing this next step is adding your website there at the bottom. It just ensures just in case someone doesn't click on your whole PDF, they'll at least see your website. So let me duplicate that text here and let's go ahead and add www.iamclaudius.com. Let's make sure I spelled that right. There it is. Now I can bring that down here to the bottom. All right, so I've done my cover page. So I'm going to go ahead and name this PDF cover page. All right, so I've got this cover page down. Now I wanna work on my first page. Now, the first thing I'll do here is actually click on download and then choose PDF. Now I can wait to the end when I'm all done with all the pages, but since I'm doing them one at a time, I'm gonna go ahead and download here. And that way I have that cover page ready to go and save it. And then I can join them all together using something like Adobe Acrobat Pro. All right, so the next step, as I mentioned, is I'm going to create the next page. So let's go ahead and go to my projects. And what I'm going to do is actually copy this page or duplicate it just to make my job a little bit quicker. So we're going to come down here to the project, the PDF cover page. I'm going to duplicate this page. And instead of this being called the cover page, I'm gonna call this page zero one. Now I've got two identical pages here. This is page one. So now I'll click in here and create the next page. So page one of my PDF document, when it's all put together, it's got a picture of me with a little message. So I wanna add that here. This is what I'm actually talking about right here. So you can see this right here. So I'm gonna create this page next. So what I'm going to do first off is actually grab my text that I'm going to be using for this next page. So we'll go to my notes and it's going to be this one. It says shoot photos like a boss. And let's go ahead and go back here. And we're going to add that text here. Maybe minimize that a little bit, give it some room, move that up here to the top. And then I'm actually gonna make my logo just a little bit smaller. I'll keep my website just about the same. And then what I'll do is add some more text. So I'm going to click on my main text here. I'm going to duplicate it just so I can have it right here. And I'm actually going to change this font, make it kind of a body style text. I'm going to use Century Gothic for this and just make this smaller about there. Make some adjustments. And now I'm going to grab the text for this part. We'll go back to my notes. And then I'm going to grab all of this right here. Copy that. And let's go back to our text here and then paste it all together. Now, because I'm using the alignment, everything is kind of out of whack here for a bit, especially for this section of my page. So let me go ahead and adjust it here. And instead of doing that alignment, I'm going to go with center alignment. So all of the text is basically formatted the same. Now, one of the tricks here with Adobe Spark when you are creating sections of text like this is you notice I have spaces here, but the spaces aren't showing up there. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to fix that. And here's what I'll do is add a period in between here. This is, again, it's a little hack, it's a little trick here. I'm gonna show you what happens now. You'll see that the period is the same color as the text, but we're gonna fix that, so don't worry. But let me just adjust this pretty much to where I want it to be. And while I'm here, I'm going to actually go ahead and import photos. So don't worry, I'll come back to those periods here in a second. I'm going to upload my signature. In fact, actually, I think I have that in my logo, so let's find out, boom, there it is. Let me add my signature and right here my signature will go underneath the text so now let's come back to fixing those periods so here what i'm going to do is the main style of this text box is century gothic in kind of my branded color there so what i'm going to do is actually add a highlight style and that highlight style is colored kind of a beige but that's okay what I'm going to do is change that highlight style to white 
and then come over here and touch those periods. And they should, let's see, it sometimes takes a little bit of a trick. There we go. You'll touch those and they'll change to that secondary style. Now I'm gonna come back here and change that original text to my main color. So now as you can see, I've got the space in between the sentences or I say those little sections of text. Again, this is just a hack. It's a trick to use within Adobe Spark. It prevents me from having to create a ton of little text boxes and align them all. The next step is adding my picture to this PDF. So what I'm going to do is click on here and choose replace. Then I'm going to locate my selfie, my brand photo, which is that one right there. All right, there's my photo. And let me go ahead and delete this line here. And if I move this around, pretty much set up. Now I shot this photo with a white background already set up and I've already removed it. But if you import a picture that has a background that you wanna remove, just use this option, remove background from that photo. It will use artificial intelligence and remove it and give you a nice clean photo like this one right here. Page two is now complete. So what I will do now is click on download and choose again the PDF option. So let's go ahead and start that download. Now that it's downloaded, I'm going to go back to projects. Now the next step is to create a duplicate for page three. Now I can choose to go from the cover page or from my page number one. I'm going to go ahead and just go with page number one to create the duplicate. So let's click on there and choose duplicate. And now we're going to call this page two and then click on duplicate. And now I'll go ahead and jump in on page two and let's begin editing this page. So this is going to be the first section of my photography tips page. Now what I'll do here is remove actually my picture. I'm going to replace it. Actually, let's go show you the main one, what we're going to be doing. So there it is. Now I'm going to create this page here. So let's go ahead and go back to Spark. So let's choose here, replace, and let's upload photo. Rule of thirds, here we go. Let's choose that one. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a second photo for this section. Let's go ahead and choose that one there. We'll align these here shortly. There we go. So we've got these two here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Maybe put it about right there. It's a tad bit smaller. Let's see if we can fit this one underneath it. Pretty good, pretty close. And now this section is called rule of third. So I'm going to click here and label this rule of thirds. There we go. And I'm going to remove my signature because this was not on that page. And then what I'm going to do is grab my website here and make it a lot smaller. I'm actually going to move that down here to the bottom right, like underneath here. Let me go ahead and make this picture just a little bit smaller, align it right there, do the same, or actually center that one there. And then what I'm going to do is add the rectangle again. That's going to be kind of my page ending, I should say. Let's see here, rotate this, and we'll add this kind of towards the end here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to our brand color. It's a nice little kind of added feature there, just a design uh, element there. All right, now I've got my text here that I've got to replace with the rule of thirds text. So let's go ahead and go to our notes. And let's grab the rule of thirds text. Now, if you notice, I've already added some period marks there. If you remember from the page one, let's go ahead and copy this. And now I will select all, paste it in there, and I should see everything now. Now, if you notice, my text does not show up and that's because it is taking on the highlight. So what I'm going to do is remove that highlight so that I can see all the text. A little extra work here. Let's go ahead and put my logo a little bit smaller, maybe towards the very end here. And here's the main text. There we go. And now I can go ahead and add the secondary style once again. 
which is right there. And here we go. We're going to click the periods and come back here to select that first one. And there you go. Just like that, I created the next page. I've already styled it. It's already set up. Just do a few tweaks here. If I want to make the text a little bit smaller, I could. Right now it's at about 16.4. Maybe move this up a tad bit here. Use my arrow keys. So now what I'll do is tweak it a little bit. So I think what I may do is make this picture just a little bit. There's too much space right there. So let me actually move this over a little bit like that. And what I'll do is maybe make this one a little bit smaller, line it up. That's pretty good there. And I'm going to move my website address like that. So that way everything's set up, ready to go. So this is again, rule of third. So this is page two. So we got the cover page, we've got page one, and now this is page two. Again, we're going to download this and let Adobe Spark create a PDF for me. And there it is. Let's go ahead and close that. And then what I'll do is jump back to projects. And now what I'll do is use this page two as the template for pages three, four, and five, and so on, so that my style remains the same. So let's go ahead and click on the three dots and choose duplicate, and then call this one page three. Let's click on duplicate. And now I'll have the same layout, the same setup for the next section. Now Adobe Spark doesn't have an option to bring all those PDFs together and create one document. I use Adobe Acrobat to do something like that. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and go to Acrobat and let's go to tools. It's basically pretty easy here. We're going to combine files. I'm going to add the files and let's go to my downloads folder and I'll should see my PDFs here. Let's go to date added. There we go. So here's cover page page one, page two, and page three. And let's add those files. And there they are. And I just choose to combine them all into one document. So basically, here is my PDF document. Pretty easy to do using Adobe Acrobat Pro, and then save it and share it with whomever I want to. And that's how you can create your own PDFs like this handout, recipe books, children's books, books, notes, brochures, whatever you want using Adobe Spark. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be notified for future videos. And thank you again for watching this video and sticking all the way through it. Please do share it with your friends. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace.